Hi, everyone. So um, last June, I ran away from home. I was 30 years old. And uh, I know what you're thinking. Um, isn't it just called moving when you're 30 years old? But um, when you're 30, running away is all about escaping the past. And we are connected to our past now in a way like we've never been before. You know, things like social media and email and cell phones, these things are great communications, great tools for communication, but at the same time, they create a lifeline to your past that in many ways is very difficult to break. For example, it's, it's also a very public profile of sort of who you've been and what your life has been like. I can go on Facebook or Instagram, and I can learn a lot about who you've been. But I might not know a lot about who you are. And those two differences to me were very fascinating. And they made me think of Total Recall and Quato, the mutant who can read minds, and the great thespian Arnold Schwarzenegger, who has lost his memory, and he goes to Quato to learn things. And Quato says, what do you want? And Arnold says, I want to remember. And Quato says, why? And Arnold says, so I can be myself again. And Quato responds with, you are what you do. A man is defined by his actions, not his memory. And I always really liked that. You know, and I, I'd like to expand on that and say that a person should be defined by their actions and not their past. But the thing is, that's not entirely true. Because who you are is, is very difficult to pin down. Self-definition is very tricky. For example, you are actually many people all at the same time. Um, for example, uh, what type of person are you when your boss calls you into their office and then closes the door behind you? Or what type of person are you when you're out with your coworkers later complaining about when your boss dragged you into an office? You know, or what type of person are you when you meet your boyfriend or your girlfriend's parents for the first time? And you know, my guess is that you're a very respectful person, you're a very nice person. And if you're not, then you're not gonna have a boyfriend or girlfriend for very long. <laughs> so, if who you are is not static, then perhaps you can be someone else. And so this is the question I'm curious about, just who do you want to be? And I was the same guy for 30 years, approximately the same guy, and I didn't want to be that guy anymore. That guy was an asshole. <laughs> and uh, that guy got treated like an asshole, and you know what, he deserved to be treated that way. So my experiment was to answer a few questions. One, if you have no past, can you create any future you want? And if you know no people, can you become any person that you want? And if your calendar is completely empty, what would you do? And last, can you become a better person? So I closed all my social media accounts. I didn't check my email. I didn't tell anyone I was leaving. I just left my cell phone and with a note to my mother saying I was leaving, but I didn't say where and I didn't say why, and I just drove off. I know that seems kind of strange, but here I am. Uh, <laughs> So what happened? Um, you know, I moved here, and uh, I mean, the whales aren't saved yet, but uh, you know, so I haven't become some fantastically new person, but at the same time, I think I'm a little bit kinder than I used to be. I think I'm the kind of person that enables when I used to kind of bring people down. Now I encourage. I like to think that I respect more when I used to judge, at least most of the time. I'm still working on it. <laughs> And then other things happened. I'm not as worried about things anymore. I started learning uh, an instrument. I, I started uh, writing a book. And, you know, those things are still in process. But, you know, I, I didn't know how to meet people. I ended up going into this bar, and I saw these two guys drinking, and I didn't have any friends. So I walked over, and I said, uh, can you guys hang out with me? Because I don't have any friends. <laughs> and uh, that's actually a true story. And, and the crazy thing is they're both here tonight, and they're, like, two of the coolest guys I know. And so, yeah. <laughs> And so this is some of my adventures in Seattle, um, and I, I don't know, you could see my girlfriend there is like the coolest woman in the whole world, and she actually likes me for some reason, which is weird, and I don't think she would have before, and I didn't, you know, so I think I must be doing something right. And so now, after I was gone for about four months, I decided to get back in touch with my family back home. And so, you know, part of me was a little concerned, they might be a little a little mad because I kind of just disappeared on them, you know? But you know what? They weren't at all because these people, the people that you love and the people that love you back, they just want you to be happy. They want you to, ha to live a life that you're proud of, you know? And I wasn't, and now I'm getting there, right? I'm a little closer than I was yesterday. And so I ask you guys kind of the same question. Maybe it's time for a new start. Maybe you need a new beginning. Maybe it's difficult to do that in the same contexts that you're in now or that you've been in before. So I'm very fascinated by this idea, this idea that we are not static, that we can be something better, we can be really anything. And so that's my number, that's my email. Uh, hit me up sometime, we'll grab a drink and we'll have like a weird, drunken, philosophical conversation. So thank you all for your time.